doing very well today. I am coming to you today with a Simple Stories Snap Flip Book. I have never done one before and I have to tell you I had a blast making this. I'm not really into like pocket pages. I want to really bad but there's only so much time in the day. So I bought these little snap flip books and I'm using the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Harvest collection from 2021. It is so gorgeous. I have a haul video of that whole collection on my channel if you want to see it. But this is all about fall. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I, I documented my October and my November in this book from 2021. As some of you may know, we moved. We bought a new house and I moved back home to where I grew up so I could be with my family. And I documented that and I documented Thanksgiving, which we do Friendsgiving. We have all of our best friends over the Saturday after Thanksgiving and just some random stuff that happened throughout the month, uh, months of October and November. So here is my cover. Look at, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Sorry about the glare. It is so beautiful, the snapbook. Let me show you what it looks like without all the stuff. Look at how pretty is that, right? So what I did, I'll just explain everything to you and then we'll go through the pages. I just took a bunch of the ephemera from the collection and scattered it about. I used little teeny gold gems. Those are from Gina Marie Designs. And I used a bunch of Bramble Fox Perspectives. These leaves, a little um, acorn leaf, 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 so pretty. And then this is a chipboard frame. And this right here is the belly band that came with it. And I just took it off and I put pattern paper on it and put it back on to make an extra layer. And then I took some old, old page protectors and cut it down to the size I wanted into this chipboard frame. And then I used my fuse tool to seal it together and then I glued it behind the chipboard frame. Look at the dimension. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it so much. This was really, really fun. Probably one of my favorite projects. And it's so pretty. I love sequin shakers. So there's that. All right, let's get going. I'll show you. So here's the belly bands, and I just put a couple pieces of ephemera over here. And I was thinking, I don't have any more pictures left, but if you wanted to, you could put like a waterfall of pictures on the inside cover. That would be perfect for there. Okay, so what I did here is I documented at the beginning. This is our old house that we just moved out of. We were there for 16 years. And we really, really enjoyed living there. It was very, very, very hard to let go of a house that you loved and you were very happy in. But we're also extremely happy in our new house, too. So it took me quite a few months to let go of my heart here. But I did it. <laughs> so I just documented the old house. And there's ephemera all over all of these little... I used the cut-apart sheets in the collection. And then... Inside here, I just made um, a little pullout with the tab punch and some of the stickers from the collection. This is just some pictures of us, all the boxes while we were packing and how unimpressed my cat was with the chaos. So I like that. Just put that in there and then that tab sticking out looks good, I think. I like this um, season of change. Went well with what we had going on. And then next, here's our new house. And I love, love, love the colored apart sheets in this collection. So pretty. And I just put some gems on the butterflies. I put this butterfly on the outside of the page protector so you can actually feel that, which is really nice. And over here, I used one of the cut apart 4x3s and this um, use the alphas from the sticker book and said our new home and here I've left blank because I'm going to print my journaling of the story of how we moved on like I think vellum and put it right there and another picture of our new house from a different angle and then inside here is another pullout 
and this is just the back of the house and our pool and I've never had a pool before so I'm pretty excited about that I can't wait for winter to be over because I'm freezing and I want to use my pool so there's that this collection has orange and greens and this beautiful teal blue and oh it's just so pretty I love it next page um we again have friendsgiving so i just took some pictures of our food and this is myself and one of my best friends i have two best friends and i really like how this came out this was a um cut apart sheet and then i took my craft knife and craft knife and cut around it and the inside and then put the picture behind it because i just loved it so much i didn't want to lose any of this awesome decorations in there pretty right and then over here is a six by eight page and I just printed this in a five by seven this was everybody sitting at the table besides myself um, during Friendsgiving isn't that pretty I love it I put a piece of, a couple pieces of Bramble Fox down here too and then here again piece of Bramble Fox these are my two best friends, so this picture is amazing for me because they're my best friends, and I like this matters saying perspective on there. It kind of went perfect with that. Over here, I just documented the food that we had that day, which is nice, and I just kind of skipped around with my pictures. We went from moving to Friendsgiving to a normal day to a picture of my cat and then back to Friendsgiving again. I just kind of put the pictures in where it best suited the page protectors because they're all different. And the pictures went with the color theme of what was going on. So it didn't matter to me that I was jumping around. And then here, some more pictures of our best friends. It was um, all couples for Friendsgiving, and we've been friends with these guys for like 30 years. I mean, she and I went to college together. We graduated in 1990, so it tells you how old I am. <laughs> and this is her boyfriend. We, um, myself and both of these guys, they met in college, so that's super cute. And look at this truck, like vintage Simple Stories. I love this truck. So I only put one photo here because I didn't want to cover up these beautiful trucks. Aren't they gorgeous? This collection is just breathtaking. Love it. Okay, and then over here, some more pictures. Um, myself and my best friend's boyfriend. And these are some gifts that my girlfriend, who is also in pictures later on in the book, she bought me this. Here says drink coffee, cuddle cat, stretch, repeat. Totally me. And she made this. She's a crafter too. She doesn't scrapbook, but she makes crafts. So she carved this wood out and painted it and brought it to me as a gift for Thanksgiving. Isn't it pretty? And then over here is probably one of my favorite pictures of the day too. This is my husband and my cat. Look how cute she is. I have to do a close up. Isn't she beautiful? Cutest little thing. She's super tiny. She's um, 17 years old, and she's still doing great. I brought her to the vets to make sure there's nothing wrong with her, and she's 17, and she's just, oh, my God. I lo just love this picture. I can't even explain. I've had her since she was probably six weeks old, so... I love this. And then I just put some um, twine string down here and I tied in a couple pieces of metal embellishments in there. That's a cat. Isn't it cute? And this is just a heart with an arrow through it because I love both of them. My girlfriend Karen gifted these to me. So I use those there. And then next we have a couple four by sixes of these two are together and <clears throat> she and I met in like 1990 so we've been friends that long this is her boyfriend and we're just doing selfies on the thanksgiving day and then some more selfies over here um i like it because the, there's pictures of our new house in the background so that makes me happy and then this is our other girlfriend um myself and these two we've been friends for a long time great huh this collection Ugh. 
okay next myself and my husband and just some stuff and again I put some stuff on the outside of the page protectors some stuff on the inside and here's my new kitchen and I put some dishes out in anticipation of them being filled with food so I love this picture and this one is a six by eight and I am in love with this. So I just put a piece of washi tape over the top and I left it. I didn't put any pictures or anything because it's so pretty. But what I did do, let me turn it, is I punched a hole in it and then put one of those little, I don't know what to call them, grommet things. I, I know that's not what it's called, but I can't think of it right now in there because look how pretty this matches with this page. Let me pick this up and show you. So I just put um, a heart charm, a tassel, and this little gold charm here. Just for a little something on the side, and it looks pre really pretty. This tassel does with this picture of myself and my best friend being silly. I love this page, too. It came out really good, I think. Okay, and then over here... Um, we have a picture of myself and my other girlfriend. So I thought these two cut apart cards were absolutely gorgeous and I didn't want to cover them up with anything. I did embellish the cards with chipboard and stickers and little gems. And then here I just did a sequin pocket, which I love because I think the sequins go perfect with this collection. And then I just sealed it shut with my fuse tool. And then of course, here's the other side of the sequin pocket. And again, how pretty these greens are. This is myself and my girlfriend. I wanted to take a selfie and she put the plate in front of her face. It was wicked funny at the time. <laughs> and oh, look at these cut aparts. So pretty. And I did repeat some of the cut aparts because they only came with two or three pages. So with so many of these pages, you have to reuse stuff. This is a picture of myself and my grandson. And next, um, we had a really, really fun night. Um, we went out to see a band. Um, this tells you how old we are. We went to go see Winger, and we had to drive for like over an hour to get there. It was at one of the casinos in New York, and I love it. And this was my roommate in college, and she's also one of my best friends. It's her husband. So this is us being really silly and so excited to see each other because we live probably an hour and a half away from each other. So this was really, really, really fun. And then when we were out in the parking garage at the casino, I ran into two more friends of mine from college. So that's like one, two, three, four, five of my friends from college at this concert. It was so funny, and um, she and I were in the same classes, and he was one of my best friends in college, and I introduced them, and they end up getting married, so that was really cute. I love this picture of these two. It's so fun. So lots of embellishments, and then, of course, on this one, I did another one of these, because I think it looks really good with this next page. It's just a um, couple, there's three hearts on here, and a green tassel and an orange tassel. I just love that coming off the sides like that. And here's the pictures, me and my husband. I love this picture a lot. And us, when we bought our winger t-shirts. So we had to take another picture. And then another selfie of us. And here's the Facebook post I put of us going to this concert. And our husband's here. This was actually a 4 by 6 photo. But because I had the page protector with the four slots, I printed this in four by six, cut it down the middle, and just put tucked it in that way. So that's a tip if you ever have that situation. Just cut your four by six and put one on each side. It usually comes out pretty good as long as you're not cutting down somebody's face or something. <laughs> All right, next, this was really special to me. This is the day we moved into our new house, and this is my great niece. If you subscribe to my channel, which I please do if you like what you see, um, this is my great niece, and she came over before we actually got there because they live right down the street, and they put cookies and pumpkin decorations on the front porch, and it was just so special. Look how cute. And they put a big welcome home banner sign on our front door. Cute, right? 
look at this collection with these colors Ugh. and then over here <clears throat> I have a big picture printed it in five by seven of my kitten well she's not kitten she's 10 but she's my little baby in my craft room if I'm in one chair she's sleeping in the other chair and I was just looking to get some scrapbooking stuff and she just fell asleep in my chair and I just thought this picture was super pretty all right, and then over here is this all this gorgeous green. It's um, a very busy pattern, but when you put it together, super pretty like that. Absolutely love it. A couple selfies of my girlfriend's husband. And again, I just put stickers on the pictures or the um, cut apart cards. And then I put enamel dots around sporadically just to dress them up a little bit. And then over here, look at how gorgeous these cut aparts are. I could not cover those up. I just love them so much. So I put a couple stickers on this one and some of the adhesive brads. And then look at my great niece. This is when she had all her makeup on for Halloween before she put her costume on. So she looks really cute here in this picture. And then here is some beautiful cut aparts again. And then I just took some pictures of my cats during the months and I thought they both came out really super cute so I just put them in there and wrote in here their names and how much I love them so cute and then I put my fur babies this sticker right here is from the um lemon what is it lemon twist simple vintage lemon twist because I just thought it matched perfect with the black and the saying so I grabbed it from that collection so cute right look at her look how handsome my boy is my nephew and obviously um, his significant other and the four kids and um, they stopped over and we were not even remotely unpacked yet on Halloween so we could give them candy and see their costumes and look at how cute my niece is are you kidding me with that picture oh my gosh adorable right and then in this one um, I did have another picture of her and I wanted to do some journaling, so I just made a tag out of one of the cut aparts and put a tab, I glued a tab punch on the top so it would stick out so you would know it was there. And then I put this picture of her in there, which kind of clashed with the collection, so I still wanted it in there, but that way um, I can still hide it. And then you can tell that you can pull this out by that tab right there. And I didn't put anything on the back, you could. Um, I never do anything on my back of my albums just because if you're setting it down on a table, you don't want it, anything that, that you put on there to get ruined and it's so pretty by itself anyways. Okay, there's my completed album. I hope you enjoyed this little video and are maybe thinking about putting one of these snapbooks together for yourself. They have all different kinds. Usually every time Simple Stories makes a collection release, they include one of these to match. So you'll have no problem picking one out that suits your needs. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Have a good day.